Hello YouTube, today another video and today I'm going to show you some of the advanced theming that is possible with HomeKit Infused 5. To get to the HomeKit Infused advanced theming you will need to go to your profile which is at the top right. Click on it and swipe through the top bar like so and click on HKI settings. You will now end up on a great settings page. You can select the themes here. First select the light theme and put custom light and for the dark theme we'll select custom dark. Then we can change the navigation bar if we wanted to. Uh, by default it will look like this but I prefer it to be either look like this or uh, with the icons to the left or maybe have a username there or maybe uh, a time. But well, I prefer it to be on the bottom like this, which is very useful for mobile phone usage since the navigation buttons are on the bottom. I'll close these up and then go to the actual theming because this is really cool. So first we have two themes to edit, a light and a dark one, uh, which we have set up here. But since I am currently in the dark theme, I will need to edit the dark theme stuff change it to light here but the light settings will only show up on the light theme which I currently not have active so let's go to the dark theme you will see a lot of options to choose from uh, you can change the cards the, the icons the text and font etc etc so I'll show you a few and I'll let you play with it afterwards um, as this is going to be a short video uh, on how to do this. So click on cards for example and you'll see a few parameters. So you can change the color of a card here by for example using um, 484848. There we go. See so you've got a different color. But you can also use um, color names, CSS color names like lime green or red or dodger blue for example, which is really cool. And the same is true for other settings. I'll change it back for convenience. Uh, and then you can also change border radius, for example, to 25 pixels. And if I press enter now, you can see the change immediately. There we go. Or none. And it will turn off the border radius immediately, uh, which is really cool. But you can also add a style, like a solid border style. And you can change the width to, for example, one pixel. And change the color to red. So this is really cool. You can change anything of uh, inside HomeKit Infused by changing any of these parameters. <coughs> Lastly, you can also change the titles, um, which you can set up here. Uh, you can, for example, also change it to be a transparent background. Uh, like so, which is pretty cool. And we've got the wallpaper. And the wallpaper can also be changed into an actual wallpaper. So currently I've set it up uh, to be a linear gradient, uh, which is also possible by the way. Um, and this is true for all the other uh, options as well. But for this example I want to use an actual wallpaper, so I'm going to copy this line and add it here and change the URL to something that I actually have. You know I've got this one, blue wood, and if I press enter now it will show me that background. Pretty awesome, very simple to use, all in real time. Um, in some cases you probably might need to hit F5 to refresh your browser, but in most cases this will be completely instant and in real time. I am really really curious to see what you guys uh, will come up with. And you can also share your themes with the community and you can do that by clicking on this button over here. You click here and it will show you how to share your themes with the community. And you can also send the themes to me personally. And if I like your themes they will be added to the HomeKit infused uh, list and they will be selectable from uh, here in the future, which is really cool. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And as always, 
have a nice day.